cost of living in Parkland, Florida, the complete breakdown, grab the Grey Poupon and come with me. Pardon me, do you have any Grey Poupon? <laughs> <laughs> Hello again, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, take this opportunity right now to click the subscribe button below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you can be first to be notified on whenever I drop brand new content of what it's like to live in sunny South Florida. If you didn't know, my name is Joseph McFarland. I am the broker owner of Reform Realty, South Florida Homes and Luxury Estates. And as much as I love to make these videos, I would love it even more to be able to help you with any and all of your real estate needs. So the information you see popping up below is my direct contact information. I'm the actual person who will be answering your calls, responding to your texts and to your emails. Never hesitate to reach out and ask if you have any questions regarding anything to do with real estate or any of the content that I provide on this channel. It's my pleasure to be of assistance to you. In today's episode, we're going to be talking specifically about the cost of living in Parkland, Florida and how it compares to living in other affluent suburbs in the United States of America. First, I'm going to give you the brief, generalized summary of the cost of living and its differences. And then later in the video, I'm going to show you the detailed breakdown on my shared computer screen so you can have a better understanding of where these numbers all come from. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show you exactly where you can get your free South Florida relocation guide. Comes at absolutely no cost to you whatsoever. Without further ado, let's get down to the brass tacks. Let's get down to brass tacks, gentlemen. One of the things that I found out during the preparation of making this video is that a lot of people make the same mistake of comparing a suburb like Parkland, Florida to a major city like Manhattan. And guys, I'm just gonna be upfront, the Big Apple is not like the pineapple. They are completely different. This is not a good comparison. So for this particular video, what I'm going to use as a good standard of measure is a similar affluent suburb in Long Island, New York to compare cost of living indices to that of which that are located in Florida. And so one of my favorite places in the world where I happened to grow up as a kid, we're gonna use Dix Hills, New York as that comparison. So for the rest of this video, when you hear me say New York, I'm talking specifically about the suburb Dix Hills, New York located in Long Island, New York. So the major contributor to the data that is provided to you in this video came from a website known as Best Places dot net. Now this particular website has both a free version and a paid for pro version, which I use, which I have paid for, which you do not have to. And that information is going to be provided to you today here on this video. Now this website was able to give to me accurate statistics as well as expense indexes across state to state and city by city in the United States of America. And along with this website, I was able to find out that overall, generally speaking and briefly summarized that Parkland, Florida is a approximately 17% less expensive than Dix Hills, New York. All things considered, 17% is not a small number to shake a stick at. In today's economy, we want those dollars back into our pocket. And that's one of the many reasons why people continue to move to South Florida in droves. And when they get here, they seek out places like Parkland and they're willing to pay top dollar for some beautiful real estate in an affluent community like Parkland. And guys, full disclosure, I wanna share this with everybody. People have always moved to South Florida for the warm weather, beautiful beaches, and lower taxes. But now, more than ever, new people are now coming to Florida because of socio-political risk in the current climate from neighboring states. I have acquaintances who live in Brooklyn, New York, who are for the first time in our country's history are facing religious persecution because they are not able to congregate to worship on Saturday at 10 I also have some acquaintances who are pastors of churches in Canada, our neighbor right across the border in Canada, who are also being harassed by their government for not maintaining social distancing and wearing masks on Sunday. Because of this, people are literally fleeing their hometown in search of religious freedom in a place like sunny South Florida. So now, for the first time ever, not only do people come here for warm weather, beautiful beaches, lower taxes, and better politics, but now now they're actually coming here for constitutional freedoms. All of this contributes to the higher demand and the low inventory contributes to higher prices. And upon arriving here, the most highly sought out places to live are the affluent suburbs like 
Parkland, Florida. Okay, so now that you have a basic idea as to why the demand in South Florida is so darn high, now we can jump into some of the expense differentials between a place like Long Island, New York and Parkland, Florida. So the five focus groups that we're gonna look at are as follows. Taxes, housing, utilities, healthcare, and childcare. First, let's take a look at a quick summary, and then we can jump into this computer screen and I can show you in depth what some of these numbers really mean. Full disclosure, I am not a tax professional and I am not allowed to give you any tax or legal advice. If you are looking for tax advice, you must contact your tax professional, CPA, regarding anything to do regarding the world of taxes. With that said, let's talk about South Florida taxes. Taxes, <laughs> taxes, beautiful, lovely, Taxes. <laughs> Overall, taxes in Parkland, Florida are approximately 36% less expensive than Dix Hills, New York. However, the taxes in Parkland, Florida are approximately 36% higher than the national average. It should also be noted that Florida has no state income tax, whereas New York, the state income tax starts at 4% and goes as high as 11%. Sounds like too much tax to me. Sales tax in Florida, as it compares to New York, are both at about 7%. Property tax in Parkland, Florida is 43% less than the property taxes in Long Island, New York. Real estate transfer fee taxes are approximately 20% less in Parkland than they are in New York as well. So it's much less expensive to own property and buy and sell property in Parkland, Florida than it is anywhere in Long Island, New York. That sounds like a whole lot of taxes if you ask me. Category two is going to be housing. Parkland is 8% less expensive expensive than Long Island, New York. However, Parkland is 165% higher than the national average. It should be noted that while Parkland is 165% higher than the national average, New York is well over 250% higher than the national average anyway. Category three, utilities are approximately 22% less expensive in Parkland than how they compare to our friends over in New York. Also, utility expenses in Parkland, Florida are about 3% lower Lower than the national average. Everybody always wants to know why. Why are the utilities less expensive in South Florida than other areas in the country? I'm gonna give you two major reasons. Here's what I think. Number one, because it's so warm here throughout the winter months, Floridians will completely turn off their air conditioner units. They don't use the heaters. I mean, we use them maybe like three or four times out of the year, every now and then, whenever the temperature drops below 55 degrees. But during the winter time, Time, we never use those electrical devices and that computes to major savings. That's number one. Number two, the homes in Florida, most of which are built with hurricane impact windows and doors. The impact glass not only protects us from hurricane force winds and large and small missile projectiles, that's like a flying coconut, but 365 days out of the year, the windows and doors are more energy efficient because of the makeup of the glass. This provides homes that are way more energy efficient than any of the homes in the rest of the United States. If you're interested in learning more about that, go into the Oracle of Google and type in fenestration to learn more. So when you combine superior energy efficient windows and doors along with superior weather conditions, it results in much lower utility costs all year round. Pretty cool, huh? All right, back to the list. Our fourth category is healthcare. Healthcare expenses in Parkland, Florida are approximately 13% less than that of which in New York, which by the way is 3% less than the national average. Category number five, childcare. Parkland, Florida's childcare expenses are approximately 40% less than that of which in New York, which by the way is 10% higher than the national average. All in all friends, it can be summarized by saying Parkland, Florida is substantially less expensive than living in Dix Hills, New York, but it is way more expensive than many other places throughout the rest of the country. It's not a cheap place to live. It is a beautiful place to live, but when you're comparing pineapples 
to apples. Not only are pineapples less expensive, but they taste better too. I love that pineapple. Okay, for my next trick, we're gonna jump into the computer screen and I wanna show you some of these detailed numbers so you have a better understanding of how we arrived to the summarized conclusions. And if you haven't already, be sure to give me a like, ring the bell and subscribe to the channel so you can be updated whenever I bring you brand new content about life in South Florida. Let's go to the videotape. Okay guys, I wanna introduce you to the source of the data because the source is extremely important. We're not just pulling numbers out of thin air. So we're going to bestplaces.net. And again, I am using the pro version, the paid for pro version. You can also use the free version. It is useful, but I'm using again, the premium version as you can see. When I scroll down, it asks me, where do I live now? So again, we want to use a city that is going to be comparable to a suburb in South Florida comparable affluent suburb in South Florida. So Dix Hills, and we are going to be comparing it to Parkland, Florida, and we're going to arrange the annual income to be $100,000 a year. The 2022 cost of living calculator, we're comparing Dix Hills, New York versus Parkland, Florida. And as you can see, a salary of $100,000 in Dix Hills, New York could vary between $80,000 to $99,000 in Parkland. So there is a slight spread in terms of salary as it pertains to offset the cost of living differential between the two suburbs. When we scroll down, we can see how that might work. Now, I like these first four categories. Each of these first four categories are homeowners, 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 and the next four categories are renters. So I'm gonna go to the category that is most common, which is this one right here. Homeowner needs childcare, taxes included, Included. And as you can see, there's a difference of approximately $20,000 difference in the salaries, money needed to offset living expenses. Do take a mental note on some of these other differentials. $17,000 less if you have no childcare, for example. Let's go ahead and scroll down and take a look at some other data. The cost of living index comparison is really interesting. As you can see, the overall cost of living in the same category, that is a homeowner who needs childcare with taxes included is approximately 20% less in Parkland as it is in Dix Hills, New York. A more common quotation is this one right here. A homeowner without childcare, but the taxes are included. There is a 17% overall difference according to the cost of living index. Let's scroll down and take a look at some more of these data. Check it out. Food and groceries, about 4% more in Parkland. Housing, approximately 8% less in Parkland. That number is skewed, by the way. It's not factoring in some other things like stamp taxes, property taxes, etc. Renter, this is an interesting one. 11.4% more expensive in Parkland, Florida. Probably has everything to do with the fact that Parkland is located within a tropical paradise 10 miles from the beach. Naturally, we're gonna get higher rental rates as a result. Check this out, medium home cost. That is the average home cost. In Dix Hills, New York, the average home cost is approximately $874,000, whereas the average home cost in Parkland is $725,000. That's 17% less expensive in Parkland, Florida. Very interesting, useful information. Again, utility costs, 22% less in Parkland, Florida. Transportation costs, approximately 12% more. That's interesting. Health care costs, 20% less. Probably has a lot to do with the fact that a huge population of the locals in South Florida are retirees, originally from New York, might I add, but that's a very good thing to know. Taxes, 36% less. Childcare, 40% less expensive in Parkland and miscellaneous category. Now, something else I want to point out. When you do visit this website, over here in the left-hand column, you can visit each of these categories to learn a lot more about how these numbers were calculated. In this video, we covered housing, utilities, healthcare, taxes, and childcare. Feel free to visit the website to get a deeper understanding on the rest of the categories and a deep dive for further emphasis on some of those numbers. And finally, I want to show you exactly where you can go right now within a couple of clicks to get your free South Florida relocation guide. Pretty much everything and anything you ever want to know in South Florida. So at the bottom of this video, whether you're on your desktop or your mobile phone, scroll down, click on the description box, click where it says show more, scroll down. You're going to see a couple of links here. Go ahead and click the link that says claim your free South Florida guide to learn more about every every city in South Florida. Go ahead and click the link. When that page opens up, you're gonna click the little box right here that says get guide now. On the next box, go ahead and submit the 
information here so I know exactly where to send it to you. Don't forget to check the box because you're not a robot and you will then be set up for success in South Florida. Well, there you have it, folks. A complete breakdown of the cost of living in Parkland, Florida as it compares to other affluent suburbs throughout the country. I hope you found the information to be entertaining, educational, and engaging. Be sure to click that subscribe button and I will see you on the next one. Many blessings. Thank you.